Okay, what I got here are two pulse integrators, one on the input, one on the output. <clears throat> and uh, these are supposed to measure uh, currents and voltages. Right now, right now they're set up to read currents. And uh, the purpose of them is so I can get a more accurate reading. Uh, and it, they smooth out any of the frequencies and uh, the pulsed DC currents and, and waveforms into a much smoother uh, current that the meters can read a lot easier. Um, so I'm trying to uh, just basically accurately read these as accurate as possible. Um, okay, so uh, both of these integrators, uh, current measurement integrators, are on the input and, and output, but they're on the positive side. So if you look here, on the, it's on the positive side coming off and... So you put these in place of where where you would normally place a current meter. Um, so they're both, I want to emphasize that they're both on the positive side right now. And uh, also, uh, you read these by putting the meters on the voltage range. Even though you're reading current, you, you read the voltage in millivolts. So every 10 millivolts is equal to 1 milliamp. Of current. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on so we can see the currents going on here. So there, that one goes up. So it's gonna say 172, 173. What that actually is is 173 millivolts is actually 17.3 milliamps. So 17 milliamps. Okay, and then over here I'm reading about 61 millivolts, which is actually 6 milliamps. Okay, so that's what these uh, integrators are doing. And I have these uh, leads coming off this meter twisted, so that helps me eliminate any stray EM fields uh, that are hanging around. Uh, and maybe coming off the coil <clears throat> so this is a I would have to say an, ex an extremely accurate way of uh, measuring input and output current on next clips I'll show a voltage I got voltage integrators and I'll read the voltage good too so so uh, my next clip I'll also show these reading current on the negative side and the thing is on the negative side the current actually reads smaller and so now it's on the positive side it's reading a higher current which I don't understand yet uh, that, those currents going in coming out of the battery and back into the battery coming out of the negative going back into the positive should be exactly the same equal but they're not and I don't understand that why yet but uh so just wanted to say that the currents on the positive side are higher than the currents on the negative side and I'll show that in the next clip and then uh, of course I'll show the voltages too but these are just the currents coming out measuring it in the the most accurate possible way I can okay <clears throat> now I have the integrators set up to read voltage so these would be a uh, voltage measurement integrators and that's what they look like um, they're supposed to be disconnected like that there because there's no connection there and uh, so I have the inputs and output voltages Right now I don't have it turned on, but uh, it's at 5.11 volts here on the input. The output is 10.38, 39, 40 volts. This is wanting to climb in its charge, even though I'm not trying to charge these batteries. 
right now, but they just happen to be charging because of my experimentation and just measuring stuff. It's they're climbing up there, but uh, so these are the voltage integrators to read accurately the voltages uh, on the input and output batteries. I uh, still got the wires twisted right here. Um, so I'm going to turn it on so you can see what the voltages are doing. Uh, also, to show that, you know, this is running, I'll turn it on first. I'm going to use that magnet so you can hear it. that's the frequency of it okay so it's dropped a little bit to 5.10 that's about normal still trying to stay at 5.11 and uh, these are charging up quite good actually slowly but surely now it's at 10.40 okay so that's what the voltages are in the most accurate possible way I can come up with actually a YouTube by the username before before gave me these uh, schematics for these integrators it's been very helpful in uh, measuring these as accurately as possible so those are the voltages see you in the right. next clip so now in this video I have the integrators set back up the read current but on the negative side of the inputs and outputs. So that's uh, the setup there. So we got the output of the negative going in and then uh, coming back out into the negative of the load, which is these batteries. Same thing over here. I got the negative coming out into the well, it's supposed to be right there when I connect it, I turn it on, and it goes into there, back into the load of the circuitry. Okay, so I'll turn it back on here. Okay, so now the current on the input is much lower because it's on the negative side. It's 110 millivolts, which is 11 milliamps. And over here we have 63 millivolts, which is 6 milliamps or 6.3 milliamps. And then this is 11 milliamps over here. So uh, the output current's actually just a little bit higher than half of what the input current is, or it's it's half of the input current, a little bit over half. And of course, then the voltages are much higher on the output. <clears throat> and so that's the, the currents on the input and output on the negative side of the input and the output.